What's good, peeps? Good morning, everyone. Um, I am in what they call the NFL experience now. So you know, the other couple of days filming, I've been in Radio Row. This is the NFL experience where everything happens. Um, thousands of people are in the building right now. We've got here a bit early to film with 888 Sports, um, but thousands of people are kind of flooding in just over there. I'm pointing because it's just over there. And you do everything. You do like 40 yard dash, the bench press, you can throw, you can kick, you do basically everything. A few NFL players are in there as well, signing little girls. So it really is a very, very good experience. Um, again, as I mentioned, I am here with 888 Sports. Massive. I'm going to keep saying it because I can't believe I'm here. Massive shout out to them. I'm in my wonderful LA Rams jersey. Don't worry, I've got another one uh, for the prize. We're going to bring another one home. I'm going to try and get it signed by who I don't know. It could be anyone. There's so many superstars here. It could be anyone. But we'll get it signed as well. Uh, we have filmed. Um, part one of me and LA, sorry, me and Rory's LA journey. That is in the description. But for those that want to see a little snippet, here's the trailer. That's insane. Stop it. You guys are going to the Super Bowl with 888 Sports. You're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> is he real? <laughs> No, honestly, this is stunning. I can't, oh, there you go. There's a trailer for part one. Remember, click the link in the description. Remember, it's the best comment on that video wins this wonderful LA Rams jersey. So make sure you click the link in the description. All right, what I wanted to talk about was Canelo. We did a video a couple of days ago and we're talking about Canelo Alvarez. And not the argument or the, the conversation then, sorry, was Canelo is going to sign a deal with the zone worth 80 to 100 million dollars. First fight, was gonna be against Dimitri Bivol, unbeaten 175 pound champion. Second fight, the trilogy against Gennady Golovkin. Now, sign me up for that, I don't mind that at all. I know some people are like, Gennady Golovkin's done. Well, I think there's still a good fight left in him. Maybe one or two good fights left in him. So yeah, first fight, Dimitri Bivol. Second fight, Gennady Golovkin. Eddie Reynoso, obviously Canelo's manager slash trainer has come out and said, oh, one second, we're still talking to PBC. So that deal hasn't been signed as yet. Mike Coppinger was the person that let that news leak, if you like. Um, look, he's got his ear to this game. We know how, so he's got his ear to the floor. We know how Mike works. But Eddie Reynoso said, we're still trying to do a deal with PBC. Now the deal with PBC, I'm guessing, only really two opponents, Jamal Charlo, who we heard about a couple of months ago, and David Benavides. It's one of those two. I'm in the thinking, and look, this, this is my own thinking. Can I sign a one fight deal? with Dazon. Final one fight deal with Dazon, that fight, Dimitri Bivol. 175 pound unbeaten champion, that's a massive fight. It might not be massive in terms of sign-ups, but it's Canelo, right? Canelo will get signed up regardless. And then you fight Jamal Charlo or Benavidez. What I would do, and look, we're gonna talk about Jamal Charlo and his incident outside the ring a bit later, but what I would do, and what I'd love to see, is almost a winner stays on. Like, I feel like you should, you should fight for the right to fight Canelo, you know what I mean? So I would love to see Jamal Charlo versus Benavidez, a fight that's been spoken about a few times, and the winner of that fights Canelo in September. That's ideal for me, and that's what I want. Now, a lot of people I've seen have said things like, no, 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 I want to see Canelo fight Jamal Charlo now. Dimitri Bivol's a better fight. Like, don't get me wrong, Jamal Charlo is aggressive and he's rough, and, and I get all those things, but he's a 160 pound champion jumping up to 168. Canelo's going to 175 to fight an unbeaten Dimitri Bivol. Come on, man. I, I, so that's, that, in a dream scenario, you get Canelo versus Dimitri Bivol, one fight deal with the zone, he, pack, he pockets 35 to $40 million, it's crazy. The second fight is the winner of a Jamal Charlo versus Benavidez who fight in May. Come on, you can't beat that, you can't beat that. Everyone wins, the zone win, they get a bit of the Canelo pie. PBC win, they get a bit of the Canelo pie. Jamal Charlo wins, Benavidez wins. Dimitri Bivol wins. The only person, I guess, that doesn't win in this equation is um, Gennady Golovkin. But he's had a couple of fights against Canelo. He's done well. You know, he's not exactly, you know, the wolves are not at his door, as they say. But that's what I would like to see. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Sticking with Eddie Reynoso, obviously, news broke. I have no idea when this video is going to go up, but the news broke a few hours ago that Ryan Garcia is no longer with Eddie Reynoso. They split. Um, I find that interesting. I do. It seems like such a good camp. I thought he was learning from Canelo. Remember, Canelo had a couple of harsh words to say about Ryan Garcia, so maybe that is the straw that broke the camel's back, but interesting. 
interesting that Ryan Garcia has left that camp because it is a great camp. Andy Ruiz, Frank Sanchez, um, Julio Cesar, Julio Martinez, apologies, um, who fights Chuck Latito. So it's, it's a great camp. He's no, he's no longer part of it. Um, yeah, find it interesting. Let's see if there's any news. Guys, I've been away from sort of the boxing landscape for a couple of days just because I'm so busy out here. But let's see what we've got. I'm filming this, by the way. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to see what time. Let me see what time it is, UK time. So I'm filming this at 6.53 UK time. So I'm guessing that the zone, by the time this goes up, the zone fights will be happening. Um, we will do a Sunday session tomorrow, but obviously look, I'm here for Super Bowl, so I don't know wh when it's gonna be. We'll try and get a Sunday session in. Not a Sunday session live, just a recap of all the fights. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, Danny Jacobs saying, I was just going through the motions in Rosado fight. Just gonna have to show you. We'll see, we'll see. Like I said, it's just a fun fight. John Ryder, Danny Jacob, just a fun fight. I don't think it has anything in terms of title implications. I just think it's a, almost like a winner stays on mentality. The winner will go on to have big fights. The loser will have to work his way up again. And that's all it is. That's all it is. And sometimes it's okay for a fight card just to be like that. And that's what it is. Uh, this is interesting, by the way. Logan Paul is considering suing Floyd Mayweather for non-payment. Says Mayweather asked for a rematch. Why? Are you trying to tell me, as it stands right now, Logan Paul hasn't been paid? That's crazy, considering that fight actually done good numbers. That's a bit weird. Um, a bit here about Amir Khan. Um, Khan to Brooke here. We approached your team. I'm the main person who got the fight done. Yeah, you're also the main person that stalled this fight from happening for the last 10 years. So let's not give yourself credit and a pat on the back for getting the fight done. Again, I'm super excited about the fight. Let, let me not pretend. The undercard's very, very weak, but that's what it is. Um, if I'm not going, we are 1 trillion percent going to do a live watch along. Um, I'm looking forward to it though. You know what I'm really looking forward to? And getting back in the studio, the green chair. There's a couple of guests we've got coming on. Lawrence Coley, Craig Richards, Laura Woods. I'm looking forward to getting on there. Um, what we got? Anything else? This, I, I don't know what to make of it. Ricky Hatton and Marco Antonio Barrera. Um, iron an exhibition bout. Stop. Just stop. We had all this last year and nothing really happened. Thank God. Remember, there's a talk of Sako Bika versus Nigel Ben. Miguel Cotto was going to fight as well. I think against Juan Manuel Marquez. And it all just stopped. Mike Tyson was the reason it all started. But fingers crossed we don't get any more of these older... Look, you're done. It's okay to be done. Um, just stop, please. I think, guys, that is it. Again, massive shout out to 888 Sports. Um, this is an incredible experience, it really is. It's just so different from anything um, I've experienced. Like, with most sporting events, it is just the day, isn't it? I mean, with boxing, you get like the media stuff and the lead up to it and the weigh-ins, but it's all about the day. With this, it's like literally a whole week in events. Yesterday we went to Universal Studios. So they rented out the whole of Universal Studios just for the media. I, I don't even, I can't even imagine how much that would cost. So when I say that the rent, everything. I mean, free food all night, free drinks all night. It's crazy, it's crazy. But um, guys, have a good one. Remember, hit that subscribe button, like and share the videos. And if you want to win this wonderful LA Rams jersey, you know what to do, go to the video. Um, link is in the description. Leave a comment. The best comment wins. That's simple. And I will try and get it signed as well. Peace and love.